look at that thing. What a beauty. It's what got Ducati into motorcycles after World War II. About to check out the beautiful Pinagalle V4R with this new extended arm on it and everything else that my buddy Chris has done to it. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that thing. What a beauty. Look at it. Nice and tight. Just look how clean it looks. Wow. You gotta check it out from this side, man. Isn't it beautiful? It looks good. As you said, I like it that it matches the gas tank. Yes. You still have to convince me to do it to my own bike, but... <laughs> I think I'll, I'll convince you on the road today. For what you do, you know, it's... Oh, look, they... Look at how cleanly they did that kickstand. Oh yeah. It's even hard to notice and they painted yeah, it too. Yeah, it looks, it looks stuck. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's gorgeous, man. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, Manny's mentioning, because we lowered the bike three quarters of an inch, we had to modify the stock kickstand. And the good folks here at Moto Corse, um, this is my stock kickstand. Kickstand, they, um, Basically cut it and then welded it back on, man. It looks totally OEM. This thing is really, really beautiful. So this is a 1946 Ducati Cuccolo motor. It's, it's what got Ducati into motorcycles after World War II. And the reason that they decided to make this was because Europe needed cheap transportation. Yeah. Um, Basically, the, the motor is, it gets 100 miles to the gallon, and it goes almost 40 miles an hour. What? Yeah, it has two, it has two gears, yeah. and it would bolt to almost any bicycle from that time period. It, it, it came as a kit, came in a wood box. A lot of people make coffee tables out of them now, if you can find them. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was the, the Americans bombed the factory because they were making parts for Messerschmitt for, for the ME109 for the radios. Yeah. So basically, Ducati was an electronics company first, and then they slowly got in uh, transportation with this engine. Basically. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's, that led up to the Desmo Sedici right there, this I beautiful mean, machine. You know, wow. a long, long time later. <laughs> <laughs> Number 78 out of 1,500 pristine condition i love the carbon fiber on it the exhaust yep. coming out of the tail and on the side no just the tail just the tail okay and then the the, the wheels are magnesium ah. oh the yeah. rear subframe is carbon fiber all this back here is all carbon wow the uh what i like it's cool is the foot pegs bolt to the carbon oh yeah yeah which you wouldn't think would be strong enough but it is wow now what's the significance of the super mono over there Besides, it looks super cool. The Supermono was built to race a class called the Sound of Singles. Okay. And it was a purpose-built race bike. What year is this? It's a This bike's a 95, but they started making it in 93. Wow. Um, it's one of, the, it's the first bike to have Ram Air with Ducati. No way. It's the first bike to have a carbon fiber rear subframe, monocoque rear subframe. Um, Oh, yeah. And it, it has a dry flywheel, which is super cool. Wow. And, I mean, it is it is a purpose-built Ducati race bike to race in a lower series than Superbike. And it's a lot easier to ride. What the hell is that, Chris? That's the that's the quick shifter. It's from Dale <laughs> Walker from that time period. It's super okay. cool because it's, it's from that time period. And it worked. And it was 
back then it was only 300 bucks and it really worked. Wow. Yeah. This is this bike has a lot of magnesium parts. Um, it's really, really light. It's under 300 pounds. Wow. The, the gas tank's carbon, the airbox is carbon. The, a lot of the engine parts inside are titanium. Wow. This is gorgeous. Thanks, Chris. No problem. And earlier, you almost got us kicked us out of here because we were asking Chris if he could extend the Desmo Ceviche. No, stop it! I, I didn't go that far. My blasphemy only goes so far. So we extended my Pentagalle V4R, but I would not do that. I do have limits, and the Desmo Ceviche is in its purest form and is not to be tampered with. Two gorgeous machines. I'm about to do my first ride on my beautiful extended Pentagalle V4R with all of its amazing parts. You can get all of them from your one-stop shop, Moto Million. We can turn your bike from filthy stock height, look at that tall S1000 double R, to a beautiful road racing beast in just one location. The combination of all of these beautiful parts that we put on my Pentagalle V4R came together very nicely. We had help from Moto Corse, from my good buddy, Brock's Performance. Brock himself stepped up and sent me these amazing lowering links there. Then we had the kickstand welded and shortened by the good folks at Moto Corse. The, the swing arm, of course, 3.5 inches extended, meaning 3.5 inches longer than the stock arm made from billet aluminium from our good friends at Roaring Toys. But again, if you want one place where you can get all this stuff done, that's at Moto Million. Ship your bike to Manny at Moto Million, and when you get it back, it'll look amazing just like this one. Wow. I know you want to hear the S1000. That's why you stuck around in the video. So here you go. This will literally be my first ride on this beast. So we're gonna fill these things up with fuel and look for a place to do some smackdowns. Made it out of trenches, I'm one of a cat. 
Now, making history. Tell me what you need, cash falling like leaves. <laughs> Being able to leave in first gear is so great. <laughs> Let's do it again, buddy. <laughs> There's nothing he can do. There's literally nothing he can do. He's stuck wheelbase. I'm not. <laughs> Poor Nemo was wheeling like crazy. <laughs> I think now they understand why this bike has an arm. And I'm just getting used to it. Still have to master where to shift and all that. Alrighty, so we had to pull off on the side of this beautiful raceway here. So I can activate the 360 cam so you can see me smack these men down on the 360 footage. But look. These guys weigh a lot less than me. They're on very fast S1000s. It's Walter Byers' bike. He's gracious enough to let us borrow it. That's the new bike build series. S1000, we both know they're super fast. This has the most current Bryn tuning that has a Bryn tuning flash on it. Also, these men are very lightweight. They're expert riders. One of them is a former MotoGP racer. I'm not gonna tell you which one. Let's see what happens. Spins round and round, fam. Lessons have to get learned. Truth has to be told. Got him big time. Got him big time. That's what happens nowadays when you race people on a bike like this. I gave him a jump. I gave him a jump. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
Run it again. Clean. Second gear four. Clean. Clean. <laughs> So I can start in first or second gear. Second gear is probably what I'll do against stuck height and rule based bikes. It makes it more fair. But when I'm racing, when I'm racing bikes set up like mine, I'll be sure to start in first gear. second year fools i like them that's going to do it for me and hanging out here in this beautiful part of the country in early well actually late december this is actually december 31st so it's uh tonight will be new year's so happy new year to everybody that's viewing this video and i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for many 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 more videos that i'm going to film with my amazing pentagon lay v4r and now that it's really hooked up and done special so that I can use it for the purposes I want to use it for. I'm still going to go to the track using my Yamaha R1M track bike, but that's going to be my so-called highway cruiser and abuser. And uh, I've got many people on my, on my list that I'm going to put the smackdown on real soon. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for viewing, guys. We'll catch you next time on the 650EB YouTube channel.